Okay. Ready? You guys ready? Three, two, one. Hey, what's up you guys? Moto Chris here. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel. Be sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I have some really, really, really juicy things to show you. First and foremost, I want to start with these levers. Um, as you guys know, I've been trying to modify my bike for a really long time now. So I've got these aftermarket levers. I think they're Womit Tech from TST Industries with the gold anodized adjuster right here to match with the forks as well as these bar ends. And I've also got this R6 throttle tube here which makes a huge huge difference we're gonna make a whole separate video just on this guy right here so stay tuned for that because you can literally make your bike faster for only 30 bucks and probably my most exciting mod that I've done on this thing so far <laughs> So I finally got the M4 installed on here. Let me show you how it sounds. So not only do I have the exhaust on here, but I also got a K&N air filter and my buddy Carlos was saying that it adds like 3 horsepower. Um, I don't know if it's the air filter, the exhaust, or just the throttle tube, but this bike feels so much faster. Way faster. I think the throttle tube has a lot to do with it, but I, I rode it without uh, the exhaust and the air filter on here, so I think the rest of it is coming from the exhaust and the air filter. So I'm just going to ride around a little bit, let you guys hear the exhaust um, in all this glory, let it pop a few times. We'll pull over, I'll show you guys the exhaust. And uh, yeah, we'll see um, here and if it gets darker, we'll see if we can shoot flames. Let's go. I think this is just right. I wouldn't want anything louder than this. This is with a baffle out, by the way. I gotta stick the camera back there. Thanks, homie. It's 
pull over. Uh, there's a ton of houses here. It's gonna be loud regardless. Let's pull over over here. I don't think nobody's home at this house. Yeah, their driveway looks empty. Yeah, these two right here. Whew. It looks super clean. Well, it doesn't change up the look of the bike too much. But the carbon fiber, really, when you get up close to it, it adds a nice little touch. I'm not doing an installation video. We kind of just wanted to focus on installing the exhaust, making sure that we did everything right. So for the most part, I think we did a pretty good job. There weren't any leaks the first time around. So I'm going to go home after this and check again, make sure that everything's tightened up, make sure that there's no leaks. But yeah, for the most part, everything is looking pretty good. It sounds good. The performance that I got out of it was a lot more than I thought, a lot more than I expected. Um, I really didn't know what to expect. You know, I've, I've never really modified a car with an exhaust. I've never modified air filters, none of that. But I've rode it, I've ridden this bike for six months. I've had it for six months stock. Now that I've got the exhaust on there and the throttle tube and, you know, the levers and the air filter and everything like that, um, I can definitely tell you that there's a huge 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 difference in the way that this thing performs there's no cat under there anymore so it's even lighter what can i say man i i can't be happier with the result i couldn't be any more happier than i am now and um guess what we're still waiting on that sprocket change i feel like the zero to 60 and that power band has been like beefed up so much this thing has so much um what's the word i'm looking for uh, it has so much attitude now the sound um, with the aggressiveness of the throttle and that you know a little bit of extra power that we got with the air filter as well so I'm super 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 happy with the way that it came out I feel like someone's yelling at me I can't tell is that guy in the window okay a wheelie I can't man I'm not that good yet Yeah! It's Moto Chris! M O T O and then just Chris. Yeah! Bet! <laughs> He's telling me to do a wheelie, but I can't. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, oh, oh yeah, so the sprocket chain, 0 to 60 is going to be crazy. I was going to show you. Oh yeah, so uh, one thing I need your guys' help on because I can't really decide. These fairings, they're all screwed up, man. If you're new to the channel, this bike's been down on that side and it's been down on this side. I took these fairings off. Um, a lot of these clips are broken. Not that we broke them, but they were broken off already. And so they don't really fit on here right and when we had the bike disassembled i kind of liked the naked look of it i thought instead of having all this stuff you know kind of like flopping around looking just miserable thought that i might just rip off the fairings because the new fairings are going to take like three months to get here so i might just rip those off ride it around naked until those fairings get here and then get everything installed back on um i'll put a picture up of what that looks like up on the screen right now so you guys can let me know if I should keep the fairings loose and wobbly and all janky looking on there or if I should make it naked. I'm gonna wait till I upload this video, see what the response is because I want to share this bike with you guys. You know, you guys have come on this long journey with me. Um, it's only been six months, but I feel like I have a ton of support with my YouTube channel and I really, 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 really love the way that it's going. So, so yeah, there it is, my dudes. Give me one second. All right, there we go. Back to super view, our wide, our wide angle. I like this view just because it gives you more of a peripheral. It lets you see more of the handlebars and more of my surroundings. So it's more immersive in my opinion. Uh, so I apologize. There's gonna be more videos about this exhaust right here. Um, stay tuned because I'm gonna do a pure sound video. I'm gonna mic. I'm gonna mount my microphone to the back of this bike, and oh 
my god, what am I doing? I'm gonna mount my microphone to the back of this bike, and I'm gonna put my camera on this mount right here to see if it shoots flames. Um, maybe we'll have some luck, but I'm gonna go ride around right now. Stay tuned for the next one, because I'm gonna let you know right now, it's gonna be a banger. So, thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for watching. I'm super excited to have the exhaust. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. We'll leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.